Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. I'm continuing the Blender to Unreal Basic tutorial series. In today's video, I'll be creating a basic mesh, uh, setting up an armature, creating a basic keyframe animation, and then exporting that to Unreal Engine 4. First of all, I do have screencast keys enabled at the bottom left here, so if I push any button, you can see it pop up here just in case I forget to mention anything. First of all, we're going to start by creating a basic cube. Go into the front view, go into orthographic view, and tab to go into edit mode, Z to go into wireframe mode, and I'm going to extrude five cubes basically out of this one cube, uh, each one of them to units high. There we go. Go tab, go back into object mode, and just, just deselect that one. And with your 3D cursor centered, shift A and create a single bone armature. The armature selected, just move it down to the bottom of your mesh here. Tab to go into edit mode, select its top piece, move it all the way to the top of the, the two units and then extrude every two units. Now make sure that you extrude and not shift D to duplicate otherwise um, you're going to get a root bone error at the end of our export. Okay, with that done select your mesh and then your armature push Control P while in object mode and armature deform with automatic weights. When that is done, you can select your armature, you can go into pose mode, and if you rotate, you'll see that there we go, it's attached to certain parts of the model. Now, what the automatic weights does, it tries to assign the closest vertice of the model to a specific bone area. So if you had more vertices, it would try and assign more more bones or uh, more to a specific bone. So uh, because we have a very basic setup, we do not need to uh, try and change anything beyond this. So I'm just going to push Z again. Uh, just you can't see your model, so just uh, at the right, just go into your object data for your armature and click x-ray there we go now you can see the armature straight through your model okay i'm just going to split off an area here go into the dope sheet and then select your entire mesh here and here at the bottom where you see you'll see a bunch of key buttons there just make sure those two ones like that, just select that, and then the one that says lock, rot, scale. That's now for location, rotation, and scale. That means that every time that we try and add a keyframe, that it will add the location, rotation, and scale of every bone or the bone that we're trying to change. Okay, make sure that your dope sheet also here is set to zero. Select your entire armature, and let's add a keyframe immediately you'll see everything appear here at the top. Now, as I mentioned in the first video, animations I have set up to a frame rate of 30 frames a second. That's your game. If you have not changed this, try and change it to 30 frames a second, otherwise you'll have the default 24 frames a second. So let's just go back uh, to here. Let's say that because this kind of looks like a tentacle, I'm just going to make it go wave around a few times. Okay, now notice that you can change here in the dope sheet, you can change, and here in the timeline, you can also change. So I want to get to 30 frames. That should mean exactly a second, because we have it set to 30 frames a second. Then I'm just going to, while in pose mode, just rotate a few pieces. Oh, not the model, the armature itself. Okay. Make 
make sure I have all the bones selected again and add a keyframe. Let's see. Now if you go back and forth, you'll see, there we go. And that should take approximately just one second to do. So, let us just make it go in the opposite direction. And we want that to be approximately at 60. Oops. Make sure you have the, the time set up before you try and make a change, otherwise it will just revert back to the the previous keyframe you were at. Okay, select all the bones, key for keyframe, and there we go. I just want to see. Um, all right, I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, what, what you can do is because you want basically when you're doing animation, you want all your animations to return to your uh, basic. Um, start state. So if the start state is flat like this and I'm making it wave around like that and then that um, That will be the finished part of the animation So it would mean that the animation will immediately gen jump back to the start animation and will give a bit of jerky movement What I'm just going to try and do is just quickly go to 90 seconds here and I selected this whole piece over here and just Paste it. I just want to select the. Whoops. I don't want that one. I just want this one. There we go. So now what it will do is it will turn back to the initial pose. So it will not be a jerky animation. It will just go straight from start, wave around, and then go back to finish. Okay, that should be it for the animation um, of, of this model. I'm going to now export it to Unreal Engine 4. So, in, let's go to Object Mode, select your armature, and select your, your model together by holding Shift, and then let's export, export FBX. Okay, click on Selected Objects Only. And as mentioned with every video, make sure your negative Y is set as your forward and it will automatically make your Z your up. So armature and mesh, smoothing groups would be your edge and remove that add leaf bones. Then let's go to my model area. So I'm going to call this a tentacle. Okay, ten test zero one and click export. There we go. Uh, so I don't have Unreal open yet, so let me just pause the video here while I'm waiting for it to open. All right, there we go. Um, this is still our basic uh, test we set up last time with our two crates. So I'm just going to go here into my models folder and import and the tentacle, tentacle FPX. Then you'll see a few options, import a skeleton, import mesh. Do not select the skeleton here as we would not have a skeleton set up for it before. Uh, import animations and the exported time. Everything else, you can just click import. Now notice that we did not set UVs or materials, so that is not really a relevant error for us. So there you have a tentacle test. Let's just open it. There we go. I'm going to go into the animations tab over here. There's our one animation that we have. I'm going to double click it. And there we are. Uh, animation simple setup, um, nothing to it. We can actually test it by just here yeah, that uh, tentacle test anim, just drag it straight into the world. Excuse it for being a little bit large, I did not um, scale it down, but I will just make it look 
like a crazy insane tentacle. Okay, I'm just going to launch it and select it viewport. All right, there we go. Our animation is set up. It looks okay. It's got the exact times that we set for it. And that is how you get a basic animation from Unreal Engine of, or into Unreal Engine 4. I uh, hope you learned something today. Um, if you like what you saw, please leave a like at the bottom, leave a comment for me, and please subscribe to the channel as I will be adding more videos. In the next video, we'll be trying to make a bit more of a detailed tentacle with a bit more of a complex animation. I um, hope to see you all in the next video. Alright, okay, thank you, bye-bye.